reason that digital transformation is still a bit of an issue is that if you look at what the actual definition means, and I'm going to take Techopedias here um, because it's useful, it's the application and the integration of digital technology into all aspects of human life. So it's not one part of technology, it's a big sweeping massive change that we're talking about. And that means it's really difficult for businesses when they're trying to figure out how they're going to transform their organizations. So what we're still seeing now, in addition to all of the new technologies that are coming out, what you're still seeing is digital transformation is still something a lot of people are talking about. In fact, um, consultancy around digital transformation doubled globally in the last year. So that really shows us the transformation is still very much on the agenda for a lot of organizations. Transforming is the biggest challenge for the majority of organizations that we work with. Not only do you have an awful lot of new technology, but you have to make that work with your old technology. And you also have to figure out why you need it, how long it's going to take to get it into place, and then how you establish processes with that so that your business works not only in the way it used to, but a little bit better. And so that brings its own set of challenges, particularly when you're dealing with older organizations that have a lot of legacy applications, they have a lot of legacy systems. And then in trying to figure out how you're going to get from that point to a point where everything is working beautifully the way you want it to, it can be really difficult. In order to get your machine learning up and running, what you need is a very good data estate. So your data needs to be fundamentally changed. Normally for older organizations, the way they collect it needs to be fundamentally changed because ML learns, so machine learning, learns off of data. So how you're collecting it and how you're putting it together is essential in order to build really good models and get the level of accuracy that you want within your machine learning. So what businesses really need to focus on is what their outcomes want to be. If it's machine learning, you need to get your data in place. If it's transforming all of your business processes, you need to look at what those are, how they're working, and if it's automation, you need to get a good list of those, how they're working, and then establish what kind of automation that you want. Is it RPA that you want? Is it integrated automation that you want? So really, I would say, focus on outcomes. The big things coming down the line, I'd say particularly within the next five years, is the increasing use of machine learning and AI. And in order to get your systems ready for that, you have to look at your data and how you're collecting it and why it's sitting where it's sitting. Because in order to get machine learning to work well for you and AI to work well for you, you generally need a master data management system. And a lot of organizations still don't have one of those or they don't know where all of their data is. And that's one of the things that really needs looked at in order to get the best out of the technologies that you're putting in, whether that be machine learning or AI. Similarly, automation is very much the focus. Where we've seen so far that really take off is RPA, which was up 73% last year uh, worldwide. So a lot of people are looking at putting it in. And the reason being, it doesn't need to integrate. So you can put RPA on top of any of your systems and basically it will follow the process that a person would follow. So it's nice and easy to put in. It's a good starter for people if they want to look at automation. But where automation's going is going to be that hard, dirty stuff. It's going to be having to go down and integrate into legacy systems in order to get an end-to-end -end product done. So I think automation um, as well as ML and AI are the ones that are really going to start impacting businesses quickly. And there are steps that you need to improve to get there. The major barriers to adopting technology is not fully understanding the estate that you have. So until you know exactly what you have, knowing exactly what you need to do to get to where you want to go is going to be difficult. So a big assessment, say for example, we get a lot if, if we go in and we talk to customers and they say what we would really like is RPA and then they start to talk to you about their business problem and what you find is it's generally machine learning that they're looking for because RPA has to be a stable process that doesn't really change. But what they're looking for is something to learn and to work on the problem that's going to get a rate of improvement as it continues. So it's about understanding what you'd like to get to, bringing an expert in to talk to you through that point if that's the right thing for you and then help you plan it as you go forward and then implement it. 
We are a pragmatic partner to our customers. We try to help them get to the outcome that they want. We hold their hand the whole way through the process. We sit with them. We try to define what it is they're looking to achieve. And then we put all the pieces in place to help them get there. We're all about people and we're about helping you get where you need to go. And we've been integrating systems and applying new technology for over 35 years. We know how to do it. The technology may have changed, but people generally haven't changed, nor have big organizations. Um, the application of the technology changes, and that's the bit that we keep up to date with, and that's how we like to help people get to where they're going.